Cooking. Just wanted to make sure. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Discovery Freelancer. I have noticed that my last stream, uh, uh, that my test stream of last night didn't exactly look good. It didn't feel good. I don't know. It was the graphics was like a small window so i upped my graphics a bit if there is a problem with my uh streaming we'll find out today but i'm basically going to continue where we left off we are going to go to the freelance uh, role-playing server going to continue today looking at oh hell i haven't <laughs> i haven't gone to check if it's orleans or orleanus but you know You'll read it yourself and then you'll go, what an idiot. Alright. So we're going to continue with this patel. What I forgot to mention yesterday is that you have to find you have to find the aircraft that works for you. So this is mine. Whatever aircraft you want to use, go right ahead. There's no right, there's no wrong. You have to find what works for you. This kind of works for me. So here we go. So now we're going to use the jump hole. All right, this is our stop. Thanks for your help. We're going to this be using the jump hole over here. Let's just say Orleans, it just sounds fine. Okay, there is a Piketty jump hole right there. Funny enough, I didn't notice that before. So I'm just going to go through it and make sure I've got it. Go to. Just see. Oh wait, there it is, never mind, never mind, we can continue as per normal. So we're going to fly over here, then over here. Basically just flying around the map and exploring, seeing what bases we can land on, and what bases are worth looking at. So this is Salbris base over here. It's red so we can't go there but we can land. There's no landing on the planet though. Those are part of the trade lane so I will do them last. See that one says Orleans and that one says Orleanaise. Oh it's Orleanaise. Well, now I feel like an idiot, but you get my confusion right, the spellings are different. So I wonder if this is not a typo mistake that has been made. Uh, <coughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but you guys are more than welcome to put it in the comment section below. Let's 
is a jump hole in front of me. Another collapsed one. Let's just make sure we're flying past it this time. Okay, it's right there. So, remember what happened yesterday? Don't go near that thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Don't want to go there. Salbris base. Can't land there. Oh, we're going to fly right past it. And then planet... Cosnickers. You can find out everything you want about a planet by just clicking the I button. It will tell you what the planet is located deep within Salogna asteroid field. Extremely cold world with a thin atmosphere of minus 200 degrees Celsius on the dark side. So on the other side of the planet uninhabitable no 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 don't do this to me okay. want to stop at a planet well a space station if they can kill me no thank you Yeah, I think the AI was added extra, but <clears throat> I'm not going to hammer on that. I think the port, the jump gates, jump holes that are closed or collapsed, they might be working on something, or maybe it's special people that go through that you have to be part of a faction because um, a lot of people since this is a role play server a lot of people have their own factions and I've heard a, a rumor or read it some way that certain factions can jump through collapsed uh, holes jump holes it's basically so you can't get to their main base. You can't go stir up and create trouble where they are. But it's a theory. It hasn't been tested by me personally. So I'm talking under correction. It might be false as well. Also, I usually go into a field. And here is a perfect example of that. I'm going to fly into this cloud before I continue towards the waypoint. Because normally when you fly into the cloud, you just discover what is hidden in the cloud. There's normally one or two places hidden inside the cloud. So... We want to make sure that everything is inside the cloud. We don't miss anything on our travels. If there's a space station that can be landed on, we want to make sure of that. Okay, I'm going to have to take over. Autopilot disengaged. Just going to fly a bit. And we're going to hit the go to button. So far, I'm not hitting anything. See, there's a burgundy jump hole. Wait a minute. Weren't we looking for it? No, we weren't. Go to. As long as we know there's a burgundy jump hole. Why am I flashing red? That was weird just now.
Okay, so there's a jump gate ahead of me. Unknown jump gate going to... We don't know where yet. Why am I stopping here? Oh, the waypoint. Oh, one of the rules of the game is when you are in the middle of a confrontation with another player, you cannot just up and leave. You have to see the confrontation through. So whether you're hauling cargo, whether you're transporting oh, something illegal in the game, because you can actually transport illegal goods from one place to another in the game. Um, it makes things interesting. Oh, there's a... Of a research facility, or at least that's what I think it is. Although, and I can land on it if I remember correctly. That was there, and it's surrounded by mines. So we're going to find out just now. Going to fly into the cloud. But you cannot land on planet Emily. Guessing it's Emily. So far I'm not seeing any mines or any other planets in the vicinity. I should actually think of... Oh, I don't have the money for it. <laughs> Whoops. But as soon as I've finished uh, re researching all the stations... Then I'll definitely go into... Yep, here come the mines. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, sh shit. That's nice. <laughs> I cannot remember the mines being that effective. I haven't, I didn't even touch it and you know like a boom and I'm back at Piccadilly. Oh that is so nice. Go to. has to be a way through though, I mean. Dark. But yeah, those mines were kind of thickly laid on. I'm just going to continue to the waypoint.
fly my way. So as soon as you enter a cloud, usually after about two minutes of flying inside the cloud, you'll be able to make out a base or a jump hole or something or another. Sometimes even behind. But at this point Go I'm not to. picking up anything unusual or interesting. can't land on the planet so that's also nothing to be excited about sad really and already you can see people testing out uh, sh new ships because there was a ship named Aurelian Gunboat Okay, there's a base somewhere in the cloud. I can tell you because of this. Objective reached. Go to. I've got the feeling the base is going to be a little bit more to this side. And then I'm going to fly here. So let's just correct my path a little bit. I'm just assuming. Objective reached. Go to. No, they might have just been passing by. Let's see if they attack. Nope. They're running away. Cowards. But yeah, there's nothing in this cloud.
Okay, open on base, it's over here. Oh, I can land there. Okay, so the first base we're exploring is Epanon Base. Okay, so open on base. Let's see what the bar holds for us. Oi, freelancer. So. Okay, here you can get um, 780,000 credits, can get you good at work with the Union Corsairs. Well, they actually call it the Union Course. Uh, groups like the Outcasts might find you interesting so I believe okay that's one I'm just interested in something the, the lady didn't speak Hello. yesterday is there okay well this one is talking to me then the missions here wow the you have to be friendlier with them to be able to do the missions here so as a freelancer unfortunately nothing for you Deployable mining containers and water. Nothing of real importance or value. Equipment dealer. So I'll be going down slow. The minion's also a nice nice gun to have. You can see the refire rate 8.33, which means it's very fast firing capability. Um, it's got a small energy usage and does nice hull damage. Once again, you can pause if I'm going too fast. Problem is, if I go too slow, the video takes very long. I've also started adding uh, timestamps. So, under the comments below, you, if the timestamps are not there, that means the video has only been uploaded recently. As soon as it finishes, Oh, there's a union course ID as soon as it finishes with the complete upload and it's completely ready I will put in the timestamps so you guys don't have to worry about that you can skip to whatever planet you want to go to or you can watch the full video to get an idea of every single planet but it does take a long time I understand Okay, continue on. Once again, I apologize for that. I did get some medicine today, I did it for free. Alright. Not that South Africa clinic is wonderful, but at least it helps a lot. So, we're going to be landing on. What? Charter Space Colony.
I'll be taking that one. Yeah. Planet, you can't land on Dark. Acknowledged. the base. You can. First again, the bar. Good day, sir. So here you can become friends with EFL oil and machinery, which makes you friends with the Galactic Brigands, the Mickeys and the Outcasts. Hello, what can I do for Okay, so it was only yesterday. Oh, IDF shipping, Galactic Brigands and Outcasts. It was only yesterday that the female's voice cut out, I don't know why. The missions they have are against the EFL oil machinery company. Hmm. The money is actually not that bad. But difficult rating of 30? Wow, you, you're going to need to struggle a bit, I'm pretty sure. Because the usual, usually I go for difficulty 25 myself. 30 is a bit out there. Alright, so there. Bio neutral processors. You can fly to Honshu. Honshu is not that far, actually. Honshu is at the top here. So here's a nice route for you. Oh, but I don't know if there's a direct way. Honshu is here. So if you can find a direct link to Honshu, then you can make what? See, the last one, I, the, the best one I still have is in the first video at $319. This is going to be 119 minus 29, that's 90. You're going to make $90 for each bio neutral processor you take through. And it's going to be, it's going to cost you less to buy a ship full of them. Polymers, polymers will get you about $48 a piece. Flying all the way down to Texas, Texas is in the bottom right corner. And then toxic waste. Apparently nobody wants that. So that's nice. Okay. And then you have your... Seems like the usual. Yeah, and then planes, obviously. Last one. 
ship dealer? Uh, apparently not. Non-existent. Okay. Let's go. So, next stop is Planet Bloy. At least I hope I'm reading it right, Planet Bloy. There's going to be some nice big ships sold here. Vendone Station. Interesting. Acknowledged. Your request is granted. Please proceed, Pete. Alright, let's see what we can find at Vendone Station. At least it looks like Vendone Station. Uh, again, if I'll machinery, it seems like everybody is doing the same thing. Idea of shipping and EFL oil machinery. All right. Commodity trader. We have deployable mining containers, which is the same everywhere, and xenobiotic filters, which you can fly for. Three dollars a piece, all the way to down to Dublin. No, thank you. Equipment dealer should have some big ass cannons over here. Let's go down slowly. Alright, next. So basically that's what you've got. I can take a class 3 engine. 360, mine is still 375, mine is still better. You can also buy the idle the France ID here. What ships do you have? These are going to be huge mothers. There we go. But I'm pretty sure we've seen these before. 3600 is your Gallic transport. Your Gallic frigate transports, 3000. And your Gallic Liner is 4,000. We've already found a ship that has more. But again, it depends on what your needs are. So we already have a ship that can take 5,000 cargo. The biggest I've seen in the game, and you can't buy it for yourself. You have to buy it from admin, I think, or the admin gives it to you. Is 20,000 cargo, but they don't want you to get money too quickly. It's to force you to play the game more. Otherwise, you get stuff too easily, and then. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what their plans are in that regard, but anyway. Here's the bar. Okay, so here you can't make friends with anyone, but you can go and take on the Gallic Navy. Go 
crew. Obviously, you pick them up and sell them somewhere, but they're the same price everywhere. Oxygen, $25 all the way to Dublin. Passengers, you can fly at 200 apiece, it's $219 all the way to Cambridge. Promethine, you can get about $15 out of it. Scientists, you can get $200 flying all the way to Newcastle. Water, you can get $25 each flying all the way to Dublin. And wine, you can get $70 flying all the way to New York, Planet Manhattan. Okay, here you can get a couple of IDs. EFL Oil Machinery, Gallic ID, Gallic Metal Service ID, uh, Gallic Gender Mary ID. Wow. And then, of course, the Idle de France. They've got two engines 360, 360 again. What ships do they have? They should have. It's a planet after all. They have one, the freighter. 650 cargo. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and it's also a mining ship. A little mining ship for you. So, not much value to me. Alright, time for me to fly into the minefield. Check what I can get there. Excuse me, miss. You are barking up the wrong tree there, lassie. Alright. There has to be a way to get to this research facility. Unscathed, unharmed. Even if I have to fly all around. Go to. This area to find a way in, I will, because you are my next target. There's a planet. Oh, planet Emily. It's all the way on the other side, and yet you can still see it. That is weird. So far it's fine, it's a straight shot. Here we go. Good grief. Shield fail. Danger. Whoa, 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 I didn't touch anything, no. Okay, that's horse shit right there. I didn't touch a damn thing. No, 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 that, that's, that's not cool, man, that's not cool. There were no mines near me. Make an and will kiss my ass. Okay, let's try going here first. Okay. 
Go to. Let's make it a straight line. There has to be a way to get in there. But the mines are very close to the base. Once at the base you'll be able to see a much clearer flight plan, flight path, getting into the base without being destroyed. Okay, here's where the mines start. I'm just going to fly around and try to see where they become less. Have I been right around? No. Maybe. I, <laughs> I don't know. It feels like I've been flying forever. If there's an easy way in, feel free to comment in, in the section below. I will try and do that on my own time. As for now, this stream, nope. Or maybe get a smaller ship or a ship with bigger shields, I don't know. I'm not going to waste my time on that Duh. just now.
I have been to Chartres before. Dark. Galactic Navy Base. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Dark. Mainiton Shipyard. Roger that. Your request is granted. Please proceed, Pete. All right. So um, again. <coughs> Make friends with the EFF. Oh, sorry, not the EFF, EFL. Sorry, the EFL. Okay, deployable mining containers, which are the same price as usual. Engine components, which you can fly down to New London for $10, no, $20. Hull panels that you can fly through for forty dollars. Promethene, toxic waste. Yeah, nothing of real importance. Shield harmonic reinforcement, those are for big ships. Alright, and then lastly the ship dealer. Gallic heavy transport. There's what the ship looks like. 4,300 space, Gallic transport, 3,600 space, and the Gallic frigate transport with 3,000 space. Right. This is the cargo transport convoy. Transmit your ID code and designate. I just want to check something quickly. This is something is not. Uh, right. This is our stop. Thanks for oh, it's help. a planet. We've received your transmission. Delta Can't 13. land there. Where are you heading? We're on a trade mission from Planet Orleans. Okay, once again, we start at the bar. Okay, EFL wall. Not much else. You can go on missions over here with Calic Navy.
crew. Deploy more mining containers. Fertilizers. Not much you can get there. Food rations, not much. Luxury food, not much. Oxygen. Promethine. Water, wine. Same we've already got at the other places. So you are more than welcome to transport that if you feel like it. The best one is still in the first video. Here are your weapons. Once again, pause if I'm too quick. So, I don't know, they all kind of look the same to me. There we go, and then of course the ships. There's a Moonbeam Heavy Fighter. Sunbeam Very Heavy Fighter. And the Eclipse Bomber. We have seen these before. I'm still impressed with the Eclipse Bomber. It actually has very nice specs. Then I'm going to land on Fort Lua. Oh! Fort Lua is a human made base, player made base, so it actually belongs to someone, they might deny me access, let's see, Fort Loon, looked like an R, okay, I'm allowed to land, let's see what their bar entails, Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's see what they trade. Nothing. Alright, let's see <laughs> what the equipment they've got. Nothing. Okay, let's see what ships they got. Nothing. Well, the Fort Loon must be a brand spanking new base because there's nothing on it. <laughs> Well, I wish you good luck, my friend. Good luck. Oh, that seems to be everything for this one except for Evro Research Facility. Alright, so that concludes this video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to land somewhere. Damn it. Alright. That concludes this video. So, I'll be continuing the next episode.